Hey guys, so in this video we are going to talk about the amount of hours that you need to spend per day in order to become a proficient software developer. So let's get into it. Now, I'm going to be honest, this video of mine is, I saw this question being posted and I, I felt that I had to kind of touch on it because the question was asked by a junior developer to a, another senior developer, or a, basically a YouTuber who has a YouTube channel and he answered in a way that was so well. Let's just say that we may see you differently on these things. So I thought I'd give you my answer as opposed to... I, I want to put my two cents in on this as well. So the answer from the YouTuber was that it will take you rough... You should think about it as something that... A time investment of at least an hour, roughly, a day or three times a week. Something like that. And the way that I would like to answer this question is a little bit differently, as you may suspect. And I'm going to try my best now to not let my crazy, zealous, religiously fanatic obsession of, with this feel of mine to take the overhand here and cloud my judgment, because I try to be objective and I always try to remember that, hey, not everybody wants to sit every single hour of every single week and program. So I'll try to be as honest as I can about this, so bear with me. If you ask the question, how many hours a day do I need in order to become a programmer? You are asking a very, very odd question. Think about it this way. If you ask the question, how many hours a day do I need to work out in order to get a six pack? Is that a logical question? Well, maybe it is. Maybe to you this is a very reasonable question. I would argue that it's a very, a very odd question because it kind of depends on how fat you are. How fit are you? Are you the sort of person who like... Are you walking? Are you high intensity training type of... Are you doing your... I don't know, are you using kettlebells? Are you planning on doing long distance skiing? Uh, what are you going to do? Are you... What, what, the question doesn't make any sense. And I think that it's the exact same thing that with the question, how many hours do you need to spend on programming? Because there's so many factors that play in that it's just, it doesn't make sense to ask the question. Ask this instead. Which is the question that I have asked myself. I started, because I used to be that way too. With more than just programming, I used to ask myself, okay, how much time or how much effort do I have to invest in this? And I changed the, that question to something that has been more productive for me in many, many aspects of my life. And the question that I changed to and started asking was this. How far are you willing to go to achieve what you want? Think about it. The question is not how much do you have to do, but rather are you willing to do as much as necessary? Because that's the true question. You can become a software developer or a programmer, quote-unquote, by your own definition, by simply learning, going to an online learning platform and spend half an hour a day or a few days a week for maybe a few months, and you will learn how to write basic software. Does that mean that you can go and get a job as a professional? Maybe, if you're very, very lucky, or the company doesn't really need much from you. But also, no, also that a company will not take a risk on somebody with that, uh, to begin with, that limited amount of experience, but also that lack of motivation. Because I can tell you for good or for, for better or for worse, the IT industry want passionate people. Good software developers are the thing that are in, is in high demand. Shitty software developers without any motivation are not in high demand. Not at all. These are the people that all these code tests and interview processes are there for, to get them away from the, so from the, from the companies. Or well, the companies want to get those software developers out 
and they don't usually don't want to deal with them. Software development is not the sort of thing. If you are, don't get me wrong now, I'm not saying that you have to love programming more than anything else. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you have, like, ideally people want you to be very passionate, to actually want to do the thing that you're doing because the more passionate you are, this is a, this is a talent profession, guys. This is not like working at McDonald's where you can literally just go in there, do your job and go home, and then that's the end of it. You, the, this is a skill-based profession. It is, it is a skill-based profession, which means that the more you invest the, in theory, the more money you will make, or the better you will be. And you can make, the, make an argument that that's true for every profession, but I hope we can all agree that there are professions out there that doesn't require you to... to it, it's not a talent-based profession. It's manual labor or something that doesn't really require you to, 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 to care about the thing that you're doing. And that's not true for software development. So when somebody asks me the question, how many hours a day do I have to put in to, to learn code in order to get a job? I would say, don't become a software developer. Just don't. Become a security guard, become a groundskeeper, become something that, does, that, that you can do in order to make enough money so that you can do the thing that you really care about. Because the odds are, if I rephrase that question, I ask you, what is it that you really want to do? You're most likely going to say, what do you mean? I want to do software. Well, no. Because you're asking the wrong question. What is it that you really want to do? When you come home, what do you like doing? And if you tell me that you like sports or you like something else or there's tons of other things that you would rather do, then I will tell you that, all right, that's great, I'm happy for you. But you should know that becoming a software developer is a large investment. Unless you care about coding and you enjoy it, which I don't really sense when you ask how much time you have to spend in order to get to where you, just to get to be paid for it, you, you should know that there are easier ways to make money. Software development is not so well paid that there aren't better options out there. If, you're, if you've been a sports person your entire life and you enjoy hanging out with people and you enjoy having, I don't know, to be involved in that sort of thing, maybe sales is more your thing. I'm not saying necessarily sales, I'm just saying that software development requires a lot of work to get good at. And there, as I said, there are actually easier ways to make that money, if that's your focus, because honestly, unless you enjoy programming, I don't see any reason why you would want to, to be a programmer. Because yes, sure, it's great to be in high demand, but you're not so well paid that it, how do I put it? There are people who become lawyers and doctors because they get paid very well. I don't really see, a, it doesn't make sense to me that you would go through all of that pain and suffering for being a programmer. Because yes, sure, if you are a five-star super coder working for, a, like for some specialist company, yeah, yeah, absolutely, you can make a lot of money. But once again, it's not one of the highest paid jobs there is. I say honestly, I would say that the amount of work that requ is required of you to be a good software developer doesn't really stand in proportion to the amount of money that, that you make. I would say that probably the biggest benefit is that you get to be very, right now at least, in demand. You have job security. You don't have to look so much for a job. It's fairly available to you. Once again, assuming that you're good at it. So. Getting good means that either you have to be talented or you have to be very interested and put in the work. So that's what I would say to someone who asks how many hours they have to put in. That's a very, con a very odd question because it's, not, it, it, it's very much up to you. How smart are you? How engaged are you? How much do you care? How, what, what are your goals? Do you just want to get a 
any job or do you want to get a high paid job like what 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 are your ambitions so i would rather say that if you ask that question and i reverse that question and ask you back what do you care about and your answer is not software that you care about other things more and that you're more interested in other things i suggest that you start looking for something different that's just my personal opinion have a great day.